again. Um, here's how to make one of these um, ooh, uh, electric scribblers, shall we call them. I'll just switch it off. Don't really need um, a lot of resources for this project. I'm going to use um, a disc of uh, 3mm Corex, but you could use a piece of cardboard. Uh, and I've got uh, a couple of 4mm pieces of Corex, these are spacers, uh, a cheap electric motor, a motor clip, or you could just glue the motor down, uh, a single AA battery holder, AA battery. Um, you will need um, a cam or an off-center mass. Uh, this is one that's available from a supplier. This is one that I make my own. My, my, this is one that I make myself by drilling um, a second hole in a plastic wheel. And some felt-tip pens. And you do need a craft knife uh, for this. And obviously, your your school uh, will have a policy about letting pupils use use craft knives. First thing we need to do is to uh, fix the motor in place. So we're going to clip it into the motor clip, push on the off centre cam like this, check it spins easily. Now if we stick this down there won't be room for the cam to turn all the way around. So we just need to glue little platform there and then we're going to fix the motor clip onto there so now it's got room for the can to go round. So I'm just going to use a glue gun. You could use sellotape to fix these two pieces of 4mm coax in place. Here we are. And uh, these motor clips have got a, a self-adhesive base, so you just pull the paper backing off and stick that down. If you don't have these motor clips, you could you, you, we could have just glued the motor down onto there with a glue gun. So we glue that onto there, like that, and again check that the can can spin round. Next we're going to fit the batteries. Um, this is a battery holder that's got wires fitted, you can get them without wires as well. Just going to strip these um, bare ends back a little bit more. It's much easier if you've got these automatic wire strippers. There we are, and just twist to tidy up the strands. And I'm going to glue that um, battery holder down in a position where the wires will reach the motor. Now, you could fit a switch. Um, I'm going to miss the switch out. I'm going to connect up the circuit and I'm going to switch it off and on just by taking the battery out of the holder. But if you want to, of course, you, you can fit a switch. You could make your own switch out of uh, paper fasten and paper clips. Or you could use a, a, a board switch. There are lots available from my supply service. So I'm just twisting these wires around. It won't be a completely reliable circuit. If you have access to one you could uh, make it stronger by soldering the wires into position. If you prefer I, um, I can supply the motors with wires um, soldered on at no extra charge. So now we'll pop the battery in and see if it's working. There we go. Problem there. Absolutely no idea why that's not working. Perhaps I've picked up a flat battery. Yes, there we are. We'll throw that battery away. Okay, so we've now got um, a vibrating, a vibrating platform. So let's turn the circuit off. We're now going to um, fit the pens. Uh, I find that um, a sort of a tripod arrangement 
seems to work best with the uh, with this project. But you could try other arrangements, perhaps four or five pens. Um, and we need to make three holes, which are tight enough to grip the pens, and also so that we can um, adjust the height. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a cross cut like that. And if you can see, so I've cut there and there. And I'm just going to get a pencil just to begin to open that up. Excuse the noises off, it's playtime here. And now I can push the pen through like that and we can adjust the height. So I'll just now do the other two holes in the same way. I could get a ruler and do this but I think I'm just going to do it by eye. I think I need to be roughly about there. And we need one roughly about there. So you, you may need to get adult help uh, to, if you're not used to using craft knives safely. Just push the pencil through here again, just to start to open up the other two. And now push all the pens through. One, two, three. Simply put this on a piece of paper, switch the circuit on and see what happens. Oh yes, we're getting some interesting patterns already there. A um, piece of paper is too small really, it really needs a um, piece of A3 paper. And to make it work a little bit better, I've made a little tray here out of a piece of corex and I've lined it with some pieces of wood to stop the um, electric scribbler from straying too far. So let's put a fresh piece of A3 in and turn our scribbler on and watch it um, come up with a masterpiece. There we go. And you can vary the patterns that it makes by adjusting the height of the pen, moving them up and down. Uh, you could even try mounting the motor in different positions or perhaps mount it so it's, uh, so it's sticking up vertically. And as you can see, we can make lots and lots of interesting patterns. So, I hope you enjoy making your um, electric scribbler. <laughs>